Welcome to Electra Online. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is percentile? Well, in the previous videos, we talked about quartiles, first, second, and third quartile. Now we're going to talk about percentile. And so it has to do with having a data set and finding a particular location in the data set that is represented by a number that then represents a particular percentile, like the 20th percentile, or the 50th percentile, or the 76th percentile. So here we have again the definition, which sounds very much like the definition of quartile. It says that the definition, percentile, is a number. So it's not actually a position, it's really a number representing that percentile, such that at most k percent of the data have smaller values, and at most 100 minus k percent of the data have larger values. For example, we can be dealing with the 20th percentile or the 45th percentile. In this case, our example will ask where is the what is the 81st percentile, and of course, k would then be 81. We write it as k sub 81 like that. That's how we write that. And then we have to find 100 minus k, which is 100 minus 81, which is 19. In other words, we're trying to find a position, or not a position, we're trying to find a number such that 81% of the values, or at most 81% of the values, have a smaller value, and at most 90% have a larger value than the number we're looking for. So here we have a small portion of a thousand test scores. Let's say this is a standardized test that was taken out of school. There were a thousand students. They all took the test, and these were all the scores. And then we show you a small sample of those scores, and they are ordered from smallest to largest. That's always the case. Everything always has to be ordered from smallest to largest. And so this is the position, 805, 806, 807, 808, out of a thousand test scores. And these are then the test scores associated with that. Since we're looking for the 81st percentile, we want essentially 81% of the data to the left and 90% of the data to the right, but that is not entirely possible. What we could do has 80.9% of the data to the left and 19% of the data to the right because our one data point takes up 0.1% of all the data values. Of course, we could have moved over one and said that we had 81% over here and 18.9% over there. Either way, it doesn't make a lot of difference. And in this case, notice they both would have the very same value of 73 on the test score. So it would not have made any difference if we picked this point or if we picked this point. But traditionally, you take the point that is associated with that percentage. So this would be the 81st percentage point of all the data value. But it's better to pick that point than the next point. Typically, that's how it's done. Notice, if we divide this by 100, we, or divide this by 10, we get 81%, and so that's really the point that we're after. We can do that, of course, since we have a large data set. So based upon our initial definition, we're perfectly valid by picking that point or by picking the point right next to it. Now notice, we could not pick this point because now we'd have 19.1% of data to the right, and that would not be appropriate according to our rules. So notice, again, any one of these points has the same value, but we're looking after this particular point. So the answer is, what is the 81st percentile? So K81 is equal to 73. So a score of 73 represents the 81st percentile, which means that all students that scored a 73 scored better, essentially, than 81% of the students, and not as good as 19% of the students, more or less, plus or minus a couple, of data, a couple of data points, of course. And that is how it's done. 